Good evening, everybody. Welcome to a very wet, very windy more lane for tonight's encounter. Salford City versus Nuneaton Town. Salford going for 10th game on Beeson. Nuneaton Town, well, they've only got two wins in their opening 10 fixtures. And they'll be looking to try and get results here at Salford tonight and move clear of the relegation zone. Torre now on the left on the halfway line, looking up. Uh, plays it inside back to Burton back to Piajani possession really been one of the key aspects of Salford's game in the last couple of games particularly against Brackley and Harrogut as well 3G surfs up there quite conducive to the possession game but uh, Salford control this one you feel that the chances are going to come Joe yeah they're just being patient aren't they just trying to draw not out of the position yeah, and that's a great ball over into Torre from uh, Maynard on the left Torre trying to get the cross in he's blocked by Luther Wilson and out for a corner first of the game for Salford Dudley to take the corner from the left for Salford right footer curls and then into the area Maynard with a free header coming in and Lois Maynard gives Salford the lead that's his third goal in four games an absolutely monstrous header from the middle of the box no one picking him up and Salford do have an early lead here against Nuneaton Town Salford City 1 Nuneaton 0 Burton turning outside of his Marcus Tom Elliott and plays the ball down the right hand channel intercepted by John Ashton though and Nuneaton win it back. Starts on the left with Joel Dielner. And a long spell at AFC Telford United last season. His ball forwards in set to buy Maynard though. Nottingham with a crafty little flick round his man. Knocks it into space and it's played down the right for him to chase. Played back. Nottingham still going in. Liner's got their first but it's not clear. Redshaw on the edge of the box. Plays ball in. Nottingham on the half turn gets the shot. It's blocked. It's back out to Redshaw on the right. Curling shot. Comes off the far post from Redshaw. Great effort from the small forwards and nearly his third goal in two games. Pressure still on Salford though. Torrey on the left charging into the box and Nuneason finally get it clear. This time it's only as far as Shelton. Mark Shelton squares it across to Burton. Burton with the ball in towards far post. It's over everyone and out but two great, great chances there. First from Nottingham and then from Jack Redshaw. And Salford have another throw. Nottingham takes it quickly. Picked up by Dudley. Back to Shelton. Shelton now down the line into Phoenix, tries to lay it off for Shelton, who continued his run down on the right-hand channel, lays it back to Dudley with a shot, messes it to far post, and just like that, Salford double the lead. Salford City 2, Nuneaton Town 0, and that's Sam Dudley's second of the season. Again, it all came down that right-hand side, Shelton brought the ball back across, and Dudley with a lethal strike into the far post, and they're making this look like child's play. You look, at the, you look at the team on paper, don't you, and there's quality everywhere. So if all those players are on song individually and they combine as a team, then there's going to be some big scores here at Morlane. And uh, as you say, we might see that tonight. Brady Hickey coming forward now, though. Slips the ball to his left-hand side to Tom Elliott. Top of the box. Good challenge by Lewis Maynard. Slayed off to captain Ryan Bezik. Out to the left-hand side to Dielna. Dielna with a cross in for near post. As uh, Maynard clears it, bounces off Shelton. But Salford get the rebound clear. Gascoigne now with a cross deep into the box tried to be taken first time by Callum Ball and really you'd expect more power behind it he was stretching for it, it was a weak shot but that was the gauntlet, that was the challenge that uh, Anthony Johnson threw down to Anne Dudley with the competition of places you know, you're looking for that player who's going to go above and beyond, do something different um, I was having a conversation earlier this week and Dudley in behind here John Ashton with the sliding challenge sends Dudley over, it's out for corner. Torre with the corner, deep into the box, may not to get him the header off the line. And no needs to stab it clear. It's back out to Torre, keeps hold of it. It's come a long way for this, slips out to Askew. Askew onto his left foot, goes to shot. What a goal from Josh Askew! Where did that one come from? Absolutely a peach of a strike from Askew. From just outside the edge of the area, Torre laid it off to him. He looks up and he won't catch a sweet one like that in his life. Salford City 3, Nuneaton Town 0. Ball down the left for Nuneaton. Ball down by Dielna. Squares it across into the middle. Torre read that one well and got in front of Trotman. But his clearance is picked up by Hickey. Ball down again by Ball. And it's foul on ball by Scott Burton. Down the line, he got this free kick now from Nuneaton. Goes uh, for goal, it's caught by Crocombe as well. Some top spin on it, it bounced up into him, but the goalkeeper did well, he got himself low. That 10th game on Beaton looks certain to be intact for Salford at the moment. 
slip ball through. Picked up again by Tom Elliott. Goes for shot from range. And so that's narrowly over the bar. A ferocious strike there from the non east midfielder. Looking up now. It's a long way out of his net, Croken. This time he goes down the left hand side where Torre's made the run. Torre heads the ball to keep it in. And that's another slice there from. Gascoigne, Askew's going to battle to keep this one in. Finds Redshaw in the middle. Redshaw tries to place the shot. Takes a deflection off the non the wall in front of him. And line. Crocom has the ball back for Salford at the moment, though, on the top of his box. Goes central down the middle. Headed clear by Gascoigne. Shelton underneath that one, challenging Hickey. Gets his body across him well as well, Mark Shelton does, and lays it off into Josh Askew. Again, darting forward, Askew, looking for second into the box. He's got through as well, Askew. Just at the last minute, he's tackled. It's kept alive by Dudley. None needs to get it close. It bounces up, though. And looks like that's three minutes to be added on. The referee's been kind. He wants to get this patch over with as much as everyone else. Dielna with a very flat throw. Again, it looked like a um, like foul throw. And... Well, the entertainment carries on here. The ball somehow found its way through to Luke Trotman at the far post. And from a yard out, two yards out, he's hooked over the bar. Salford City looking at a 10th game unbeaten here at Morlane Arter tonight. De Zeroway picks it up. Is there a fourth in Salford now? McHale out to the left to Beasley. Beasley's got space to stop it in turn to face goal. Out to the left to Wibu Torre. Torre now squares it into Shelton. Shelton coming forward, he's bundled over on the corner of the box to the left hand side, it'll be a free kick Shelton, still stepping up, waiting to take this one right footed, goes to the far corner and it's just ruffled off the top of the net there I think from Shelton, plenty of power on that, a lot of whip on it as well but it's just being the top of the bar Linus getting ready to take the goal kick essentially the last action of the game first check of the watch on the referee he does blow the full time whistle and the final score here at Morlane is Salford City 3 Nuneaton Town 0